Phytonics is addressing an old problem of the uh, photovoltaics with a new solution. Yeah, why are reflections a problem? On the one hand, and I think that's obvious, light which is being reflected, it's not used for power generation. So there we have an efficiency loss. And there's another aspect which not everybody might know. Um, the light is going somewhere and there it can blind people. And this is especially a problem for rooftop installations, which are now um, not only be done on uh, south roofs, but also on north, east or west roofs, where the sun hits on an angle so that it's reflected downwards into the neighbor living rooms. And since the energy transition uh, should take place on roof sites, um, this is a real huge problem. And it's also a safety aspect on airports or around highways. Um, in this location, you need to get the build, building permission, you need um, a glare assessment. And in 50% of the cases, a glare problem will be um, seen during this glare assessment. So the glare problem is, is not a niche problem, it's a large problem. Um, and it, it's blocking 300 gigawatt of photovoltaic installation in Europe alone. Uh, which means for the solution that we have, it's a 15 billion market. So, and that's the solution actually. It's not a new solution. As I told you, it's a very old solution, a million of years old. Um, it's uh, the rose, um, which has on its surface micro nanostructures, which are able to collect the light from all angles of incidence and of all wavelengths almost perfectly. And what we did is a technology transfer to solar modules. So we now have the same kind of surface structures um, on, in a highly durable material on top of the solar modules. And that's how it looks in real life. On the left hand side, you have the market standard, which is a thin film coating with 3% gain only over the year compared to the uncoated module and with strong glare. Um, and now with our coating for the first time, it's possible to have absolute glare-free modules. And of course, with a high, much higher power output. So we are in the value chain uh, in the middle, somewhere between glass producer and module manufacturer. And the module manufacturer, of course, can have a higher margin with glare-free modules for the end customer. But the main advantage is that um, he has a much larger market segment. He has a solution for the anti-glare market. Um, that's a completely new market which he can address. And uh, 2030, it's, uh, I think we have a 3 billion market volume there, um, a serviceable, obtainable market of 3 billion euros here. And as soon as we have um, uh, some uh, scaling effects, then we can also address the efficiency market, so where only the additional power output pays off. And there we have a market share, uh, a, a serviceable, obtainable market of 2.4 million billion uh, dollars. So that's why PV manufacturers are highly interested in our solution. We are working with many of them together. We are in the pilot stage now. We are ramping up our pilot capacity uh, for some pilot projects. And in 2025, we will start the mass production and we have a very high demand already secured. And to reach this mass production, we now have a post-seed round of 1 million euro. And well, to sum up, we have a market-ready product. We have a gigantic market. And the only thing that we need to scale up and have a contribution to the energy transition is now um, your money uh, for the post-seed round. And next year, uh, 5 million ticket uh, overall uh, 5 million series A for starting the mass production. Um, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to meeting you at our booth A17.